Hi, my name is Frank Turner and this is how music saved my life. I grew up in a house with uh, my mum and dad listened to classical music and nothing really passed about 1900. I didn't really have any exposure to modern music and then um, one day uh, I was at a friend of mine's house and his older brother uh, had an Iron Maiden poster on the wall and it was um, the Stranger in a Strange Land poster which is, for, to my ten year old eyes, was a zombie cowboy in the future which is about the coolest thing I'd ever even thought of in my life. I didn't even know it was a band at the time. And um, I got quite excited about it, and my dad um, bought me a present on his way home from work. He stopped in a record shop and bought a cassette of the album Killers and took it home and played it to me. And uh, I can still remember hearing the opening of Ides of March, first track on that record, and it just completely kind of flipped my life upside down. Once I got into Maiden, that was kind of it, really. I was just completely sold on the whole rock and roll thing. And I was a metal kid for a few years, and then kind of Nirvana uh, washed over me and then pointed me towards sort of punk rock records um, uh, and it was a huge part of everything really I mean then and now um, I was uh, I got a scholarship to an exclusive school when I was a kid and I felt very kind of socially awkward when I was there and I, I kind of had a really tough time with that and that was around that time I started listening to The Clash uh, and then from then on into kind of bands like No Effects and Black Flag and The Descendants and stuff like that and um, the kind of that sort of rage and defiance of punk rock, but also the idea of a punk rock scene and a sort of a, a kind of a refuge for the weird kids was really, really important to me growing up, and um, it was something I really clung on to. As I got a little older, I got involved in the hardcore punk scene in London. I started going to shows from about the age of 16 onwards, um, and got involved in kind of putting out records DIY and doing zines, terrible, terrible zines, and um, putting on shows and playing shows and all that kind of thing. And it was sort of, it was, yeah, the UK hardcore scene was like my life for five years. I think that um, life is just as tough when you're a grown-up as it is when you're a kid, I guess maybe. Hopefully you've got a few more tools on how to deal with it, but um, uh, music's a huge part of everything still. I mean, both in terms of the music I listen to, you know, I mean, there are days when nothing's going to get me through the day, like listen to The Week of the Hands or National or something like that. Um, but also, you know, obviously I write music as well, and, and um, writing is a big form of catharsis for me, particularly the, the last record I did, Tape Deck Heart, kind of a record about growing up and about change and about heartbreak and all that kind of thing and, and um, it was very um, helpful for me personally to write the record you know I got a lot of kind of you know, those demons came out. Whenever I go on tour the support acts we take with us I spend a lot of time thinking about that and they're all, it's a way for me to kind of like try and hopefully spread the word about some good bands so right now we have the Architects from Kansas City who are an amazing rock and roll band. Beans and Toast is a very old friend of mine from the UK. The next American one we've got, we've got um, a band called Off of the Heads, um, who are an amazing band, punk rock band, and a guy called Ben Marwood, who's a friend of mine from Reading, England. Um, so yeah, and then I mean, I've also been listening to uh, what have I been listening to? I've been listening to Hop Along, uh, Houndmouth, uh, Devil Makes Three, uh, loads of stuff. I, I, this isn't five. I haven't done five. I've done too many, but good bands, hopefully. <laughs> I, the first thing to say is I feel quite. Um, ill place to be giving anybody advice because I really haven't got my own life figured out particularly, you know what I mean? But I mean, I think that the most important thing is to talk about stuff and to, to share it with other people because um, problems loom really, really large if it's just you on your own trying to deal with it and you can get isolated and get lost in it. And I think the most important thing is to find somebody to talk to and it doesn't have to be your mum and dad or your friends it's, or, or whatever, you know, it's like it can be it can be a totally random pen friend, you know, somebody on the other side of the world, whatever it might be, but just to actually write stuff down and talk to somebody about it and you realise that you're not the only person dealing with it, that, that's an important thing, I think. That and listen to The Weekend Answer.